I still continue, man. So, you know, let's continue. The last of the light is sliding from the sky of the television being switched off for a night. And yes, we have reset. But part of the bear so says that he just notices cold. All the winds are reflected in the spur away. The statues and the task will almost seem to be moving in the garden gloom. Shower at me with scarce whispers for our statues and scurry figure with a big red beard seizing. A stride, a statue of course. I've been saying Charlie's still like this while we waiting for our chance. I can't be sick of, of it on my nose, it's time to itch. Patience me of resting gone with the stars who looks, who looks surprising like grubby a bunch of not much longer now. Statue waits there a while longer until the last passer by his pass. And then when last now he snores and the statues spring to life, jumping down from the pedestal and running towards the sad bare feet of villains. That's what making me to pretend to be statue. Oh, we use news, man, those stomachs gum, kicking panel in the bathroom. With his hopper nail boots, look at this stupid fur falling out all over the place. That's Tearing out a handful of southwest is a kind fist is funny. Yeah, agrees Mr. Gum. And just he waits so he says um to dance. And then we both get filthy stinking rich. Apart from you, you will just be filthy and stinking, chuckling, nastily. The villains wreck the weekend. Terrified padlock, a way to his new life of dancing around that washing line. And by the time for the church, the square padlock is now to be found. Oh, go, go, scores, Polly rushing also back to feel about his dress in case padlock was still there as had to invisible like bears sometimes do. But no, he really gone. This is a list of pizza and santini. Let's continue, man. What's this? It's not, it's not, it's not. What am I uh, gonna do? She said, I done less, but all out in the world of man with no one to protect him. And now he could be in all sorts of troubles. I let a big bed down for and simple. I'm a disgrace to the net of nine years old. The autumn went aside softly, scouring the leaves which lay fallen deep rays upon the ground. Sorry, I'm to read Paw Prince, cried Polly. Polo, not my prince, screws with his feet to help me track him down. Soon he was hot on trails, following the muddy. Marks as a letter to a flower bed, that's of the tester, out of the turn, square and bed, a street, then a street, on bus, shake and Mr. Clumsy's the best barber shop in town, bus, shake and Mr. Clumsy's, and to the little box trees, to the back trees, and over the rail trucks, over rail trucks, and but there the trail, and uh, there was so much rubbish and muck on the ground, the body. Couldn't make out the purpose in a fat thing. Which way now? He said in frustration. Spot the road to tell us what. 
But at that moment, the cat was calling, calling for Evans Road. It's calling, calling, calling for Evans Road. It's calling for Evans Road. Look at me, Bonnie. Look at me, God was in Bonnie was lava gazing to set splendid new red eyes below sailing through the sky with the worst flavors of discovery, plenty of sun and there is some green and gold. The sand is massive feeling with the yellow roof, which is tangled up with sheets, with no others and throws the burning rebels, the best man in town. Hozo Zelti! Hozo Ray! What's now, man? Rebels, this isn't anybody there. What's we haven't discovered? Oh, Brainy, this is in a story at a tear party, yes. This lovely Friday, oh, there he yes. William Billy, third, yes. But Martin Londo, it's never discovered it. Let's continue. Ah, more are the snacks. We have got to eat a lemonade paper. I'm off around the world to try as yours. Who knows what's wonderful, the last cheese I will discover. Love, his eyes shining and his stomach rumbling like copper. But probably he's glad as he notices I will never see them. What? I were a match. I spy on me, but I not nothing by accident. Well, maybe I can have the tour and rivers. Scanning the streets straight as below him, like a big moving man. Yes, this is a bear. Send it the dogs, but be careful while he's not alone. What he means the party was already around, I guess, as an awful truth. Is Mr. Guy and Billy William yet? Sean is it as boom bros. I don't want you. They're the ones who have got paddles. So they'll be honest. I must have known. Sean both. Polly, thank you, Mr. Rebel, sir, to call after the disappearing balloon. And with the smell of color, maybe whistling through her rubbish, Paul race along the shabby, windy lens that set down to the lemonade paper docks. <sighs> Chapter 5 Down by the docks. The docks! Where life was cheap and the death was on a special offer all year round. Where then galore ran every corner at each step you took, be your last. Where a man could lose an entire month's pay in five minutes, grabbing for cheese and rats in the gutters, and the sailors sang drunken, and the clocks were all broken, and the battles of rum hugged many singing in the fog, and you never knew what anyone was thinking, but one thing was for certain, and you knew they wish you harm. Cats. Consciously, Polly picked a way to the narrow lens, listening me by Victorian gas lamps. That glowed a dismal orange to the swirling mists. The air was thick with salt and exotic spices, and the night was filled with a hundred terrible sounds and nasty shrieks, breaking glass and across from the naughty ladies echoing through the alleyways. A pen you fall kissed our me rubby red lips, and two pins fall fell on me elbows. Beggars wet and wet in the gutters, air these stood huddled outside the tattoo parlors, and terrifying gangs of gossipers roamed the streets. Talking about people behind the box. Out of me way, Marty, cried the fierce looking sailor, shoving Polly Ruth aside as he disappeared in the crook doorway. I want to see this bear and what's going on about. Bear whispered Polly, falling in after the sailor. She went to stay in a dingy little turban. It was a vile sort of a place, heaving with rough laughter and reeking of sweet disorders. Crusty fish you mix on from a low ceiling, and the tables were packed with red moss, red nose, ruffians busting about how many men they were killed and eating entrance for their 
In one corner of the sinister Machete sat writing his story with an old fashioned fairy quill. September 15. Wake up. D A H some sinister stuff. Kills a man for calling me shoddy. Kills another man just because we failed. I guess Dean one eight some sinister stuff. What's this? The senses. Trying to breathe too deeply in a case, he got drunk. Paul passed through a series of silly backrooms where all manner of illegal entertainments were afoot. Car games, spider wrestling, rooster inflating contests, it was all going on. But finally, Polly came to the last one upon Dark Dank then took it away as the very back of children, far from the arts with defense folks and packed with monstrous sailors, all waiting for a show to begin. A surely hushed his skin as a feeble wind like creature. First I wondered that Mrs. Stucker stepped out on to a rickety wooden stage, grinning like a haunted ship. Good evening, gentlemen, said he, and welcome to me, brilliant show. And what a spectacular evening of entertainment and cruelty to animals we've got for you tonight. Gentlemen, I present you the one, the only, the incredible Mr. Funny the Dancing Bear. Bring him, uh, bring him out, Billy. And poke and render the rest of the best for love. Ooh. We are both fell roughly in the sickly green spot. Then for police very knees. The poor and I was forced up on his unless and made to serve a sally around the crew other chains while with the sailors stood snorted, clapping their hands together and chanting their traditional sea senses. Dance for your super you big Ali Chung. Dance for your sailor pores. And the wind she blows high and the wind she blows out. Who's the wiggle me? He go. Okay, so. Um, um, okay. What's with me a minute, okay? I just gotta get this. Oh, Okay, so let's continue. Me he go me who with a wiggle me he go me he go me he you have a rather creature that's by your tea. So this is what happens to bears lost in the world of man with body just said. So he gets treated like all chase to be made spot of is an outrage. What are you doing? You horrible teeth. Hey man, no man, I'm stopping you. Come on. No way, who's there? My brother's breaking everything, man. We need to stop him up. Wait for me a minute, man. Okay, man, sorry for the trouble. I mean to do it. Okay, so let's go to me. There you do that. Sorry, minutes take cold, take by. Part of that, and Mr. Castillo, a bitter one passes. Greasy the camera, I cry. Come on, our chance. Show some appreciation for Mr. Fancy. Dancing there. That's right. With her belly as the nuts were on in the cap crew, heavy with golden coins, filled up with yarriches. Polly rubbed the eyes silently. Well, you let out the spectacle never end. It was actually your last sailor cough up. The show was finally over. With a cheer of crowd still ringing in their ears, Ben spun the paddock through a back door out in the misty night. Right, Scott, Mr. Scott, in a dark alleyway. The other time, Bessie was be got years in. Move it to gold, the butcher's cap, catchy two bits gold in the butcher's cap, the rascals to catch in the loot in the dancing moonlight. 
Pie Chow was a pedal was slammed just the against the stable wood and grace powered hingly piggly upon the slammy coals. Nine bits of gold in a butcher's cap. Ten bits of gold in a butcher's cap. This is a rasping chest mixed with lapping of the waist like a band of green. Part of whispering, I let you that back in the chest, but I want to let you do it again. As well as this, hmm, this is a part of green. Just receive it in, and I tell you, Polly was all right to see how bravely. Come on, boys, it was my organizing, unbuckling the iron chairs around bears and goats. I'm uh, getting you as we are 23 bits of gold in a butcher's cap, 24 bits of gold in a butcher's cap. That's the way to Polly as he took Polly's big friend, Paul, in a pink hand, and together they began to tip to that and I turned bits of gold in a butcher's cap. But I call me a fatty, me can't see stuff. Turned a bit of gold, but I see Mr. Gontrivy. That's a bad side, I was more. Well, I was worried, Mr. Gum, me, old Mr. Gum, laughed, got it with him. That's bad, he had a title to visit. And I was all on his sleep with his arm, taking out his arm. That's me, the bear escaped. What? From Mr. Gum, his blood eyes, a glinting, and a glinting moon eyes. I believe it's wrote as it was, it's a little... Melling girl, I know. Get him off with a dress. I pushed the body at grace by our brothers, sending them rumbling down buildings and knocking the flat on the night bags. The cap flew from Miss Sands and all money sales made with rolling that alleyway straight to open doors of an oven. Ready for the offers that we've got enough money to buy an oven and we can finally eat proper bread inside it all rolled off. Thank you, Mr. You have made our lives much better with your generosity. Shall we with your scum, Mr. Go? I didn't bring good news to you in my accident. In a flash, the bears were back on their feet and back in race. Polly and Peck luck had already reached a waterfront. And just away, said a voice up ahead. Your frog Polly could just make that tall saying she was mass bringing just like his accident. Exciting adventure stories like Treasure Island. Sassy, less exciting like one like Island. And just away, said a voice again as to prepare to leave the house. But he gets back and some scum very steamy. Then the early tower was done like a smelly sprawling ball, several parts. There was nothing but it's jump, but no jump. Yeah, probably leap it onto Paris air. Look back. And when it last of the but it was done like a center of the air with his balls raising that is for light and airy barrels and airy on the shirt deck and the time sky and reached out so it was already pulling away to the mucky slush league fires. Then I was getting away with this being Mr. Gum jumping on to a run or down little fishing boats called a dirty oyster. Billy Hawk and Atherton sadly up the engine, saying the mellow sounds class of filthy black smoke in the night air. And all they said in a harsh pursuit. But luckily, the person wasn't that hot as all because the dirty also was absolutely loaded with cans of smoked beer. In less than 10 minutes, the video's completely run, completely lost, completely going round in circles. Kabisi and I see each other and Kabisi and Rory use the body and padlock at the skip. Captain Brazil, horse the man say, oh, 50 degrees to starboard, man the ringing. A booming voice rang as he and me. The whole boat as body and padlock lay simmering on the left hand. 40 degrees north, when the wind lasts, take the ropes. The sails flapped and served as the ship began to pick up speed. And from as the mist that the small man in a navy blue uniform is just thrust as like a vanguardous acorn. Scray hair was wet up on top of set and stars were rolling as wildly in the sockets as someone was playing pinball inside the spread. What's the meaning of that he demanded? Stares you over to party and pile up. What are you doing aboard my ship? Explain your sass. I was actually dumb. I can smile to this. 
On his cats in Brazil, wake up order and not just get shaken. Now, cats in Brazil was very famous sea captain. And this time, he had been awarded all sorts of medals. And he was the met someone who needed a queen. And he had fought in some incredible battles at sea, including incredible battles in 1962, incredible battles in 13. Uh, second, 1963, Ranch of the Incurbus Battle at Sea, 1966, Crow Battle at Sea Strikes Back, 1970, and Crow Battle at Sea Gets Married, 1978. Yes, Castle Brazil was impressive, all right, with all the smells on his chest and hardly any soup stands in his air. But here's the thing, if you look at the dates of those battles, you will see what? That they were all ages ago when Captain Brazil had been a young man, fit as a unicorn, a trust real, and as that he was out in grace and with her, the cut of Brazil had gone mad for many, too many years as he was more. The rats, it was an absolute crazy. Right, Captain Brazil to Polly when the ship was safety at the docks and in open water, heading into the watery future like all the ships know how. There's no girls allowed on board, the nature can take the rule. But we do need the cabin boy, so I'm afraid you have to do what I always do. So I'm afraid you have to. In this I see a bitch. You have to discuss this as a boy to fool me. So watch out. I'm not easy fool. I can't say girl, so boy, yeah, in for it. But you already know that I'm a girl, so boy, in for you. Can it's kind of an already come man that's got some Brazil. So I was running more wildly than ever, and that's we got to go to. So we are looking for ships, cat, he hinted. Twenty pedal climbed below decks, and five minutes later, they emerged completely transformed. Polly was dressed in shorts and shorts with stick on mustache made of an old piece of ammo, and she stuck some triangular ears on padlock. And plenty meow on his side in the tar. Good evening, began Polly. He said, The girls got some resistance. May you force you to go deeper. Good evening, Coltrane, began Polly again. As the growth was as a command. My name is Sally Edwards. I've been about all me life. And I always be standing up, course. I'm not sure or nothing. And this is probably mother. She's a bunch of better. The bestest pussycat in all London town. He can catch ones like you with belief and he's definitely not a bear. What's the cat in Brazil? What's the struggle look? There we were looking for cabin boy and ship scans. Now we found one on beach. How come war? Now run off. He's calling west and go and ask cook for the dinner. But as soon as the two of them at the side, cat and Brazil rubbed his softly. Hmm, he found. There's something not quite right about this airy. It was better. He talked like a boy and he was about to have caused my suspicious. And I said, what kind of is man? I'm not sure he's a guy at all. I try to keep very close eye on the so No one fools Captain Brazil. What an absolute crazer. So, let's see. Life at sea. Too many in the boat. Discover the sea and bear a put leg to the island and the padlock is by the island that can now be spirits of rainbow home again. That's so much long. We need nine more chapters of ten. Oh, eleven. Oh, well, this is going to be just be nine more. <sighs> That's exhausting. I can see. Man, the ringing. Scrub the dicks. Who's the man sail? Do something with the rope. 
fry the bacon, eat the bacon, say, mmm, that was a nice bacon, play the accordion, stop playing the accordion, sit around doing nothing for best, do the crossword, trip over buckets, and go out. Climb the mask, pretend to look at the waves, already just a bit of crap is loose, to set the ass with the roll, each one a cat and raise your Yes, you is commands that each one is shit mess was crotter when doing everything he said. For though he was as mad as a dandelion, cause it was just my loving like a brother. Explain why I recruit called Long Les Anderson, which actually was his brother. And all things considered, life aboard the next success. Take Lord was really quite splashes. Polly was every bit as good as a real cabin boy as he soon made the very useful. Polishing the captain's nose, mending out sails with needle and thread, and fetching supplies for below deck or cook. The only problem came when she was told to get the ship ready out a new leg of pen. What's this? Thunder the captain was here, slamming balls and the word. She had been to the rail, a lovely shade of brass pink and decorated with red hearts, glitter and stickers. But I'm really over in the sky, are you, Eric Edwards? Oh, now replied Polly in her gruffest voice, kicking her tail to have made a stopping sound. Cause nuts, Captain! Why you just better not be murdered, little man? Lady in cross that party, cause your own face will be flashing in square polish. No mix of war, cats of Brazil. So the rest of the crew suspected nothing, they were shining quite kind to party. First bench, a Charlie was beer fellow in a navy window splash, and take a particular licking to a new cabin boy and spread out cheating body all tricks all the sea. Have to tell you what's the direction you were going in by just a little bit of guess. What was the man sale? Actually means nothing at all. And that you find out how cold water is by pushing someone in the water and asking them how cold it is. And that's for padlock or pearl face McLean as good as sailors in really red. He wasn't really a very good ship guy. He never wants to manage to catch a mouse. But he didn't seem to quite so sad these days. But the sea air was doing him some good. And so the Nantucket particular sailed on through fair skies of blue and through squally storms, through seas as calm as a new war, and good ship and seas as angry. As a heavy metal, band stuck in the lifts, ran the camp of good hope. They sailed in the Indian Ocean and on past Curry, Curly Michael, the naughty sea serpent lives off the coast of Alaska. Terror noise in passing ships with the spawning stories about kelp, and that's the least which is weak, slowly bigger to be as I think for God uh, to walk as well. You know, she tell Pilot one one chop, tropical evening as the dolphins play on the trumpets and the sun sank slow in the west. Everything turned out pretty good. I don't know where the ship's headed, but the records we assume going against the battery cannot be beasters. Where well, you can roam more than free and airy once more. I'm best of all, we done completely scared from his scum. Continue my, my worst partners. He must be worrying us no more. And the man in the boat, Mr. Gum stood on the oily deck of the dirty oyster, scowling at everything inside. Not that there was much to scowl as just a lot of water, a bit of sky, and a line in between called the horizon, which got that put it to keep the sky from getting wet. Shall I be whiskers? Scowled Mr. Gum for the thousand times since they just left Lamanic. Remember, he and the belly had been arrived at sea for weeks now, and they were practically dead of hunger, thirst, and general scuffiness. Our beer had drunk as long ago. The engine was smashed bits from again the inventing on this patch of the engine. They were both covered from head to toe with sunburn, mosquito bats, and varicus. Shall we whisk ourselves out, Mr. Cum, Tazen, and one... And Tom since that's lemonic beaver and completely sick of all those.
floats and remains away from home business. What's a bother? It's all is. And I'm sick of being bitten by things, complained Bibi Belly, rubbing a wand on his shoulder with a plate to attack him. Yeah, Grandma's Mr. Gum, but the worst thing is how hungry I'm not getting. And you get some more rats and trees in yeah, Belly. Sorry, Mr. Gum, me old life jacket, said Belly. Try catching. Mm. This got the last one this morning. We could try can some fish. He said, look, there's a fishing rod on everything. Now I guess you bow with all that. So too much hard work, around Mr. Girl. Snap in the fish rod over his knees and chuck it to pieces in the ocean. Now what we have we gonna do when well, we have gonna start to death as we wait? Sorry, buddy. Me rose me a roast dinner. But there's nothing else for it, Mr. Girl. I'm gonna have to eat you to say that. Show up your leg was where ya. They were just about to start so I just make it all day. When all of a sudden he started to add on the glamour and simulating the blazing South Pacific sun. Land, land, he said, we are safe. She could have been a stance around the deck, whooping and drawing with fancy that as the end grew nearer. Chapter 9. Discovered. Not time and night. Took its particular set suddenly on the clear calm waters, washed over by a full moon which hung in the sky like a big silver fruit passed down below the decks. Polly awoke with a strange feeling something was wrong, quiet as an avocado. She slid from a hammock. Open the cabin door and climb up on deck. Easy to sit, whispered Polly to herself as she prowled around, being extra careful to keep to the shadows. Senior punishments for being caught on deck at the dark, tickling, and lots of it. Oh, it's then a sound. So bad, and at first it was. Even quite fun, but only last we see had seen Cat and Brazil Chico Mayor. So as that he both that both his lungs have blown at Snorjo, it was horrible. In a very fancy body could hear laughter and all could be and music come from far end of deck. Beyond one of those massive funnels you all skates on ships. No one even knows what they're for. As the ears grow as Thumbed to the dark, and she began to make out the words of a sea shanty. That's why you're super, you big ugly jungler. That's why you're saying the parts. And all at once, Polly knew what he would be on the massive funnel. Oh, Palace, you've gone, they have got your dancing gear for the day. They find you poor creatures, he says, he raced along the deck. Even here, see, he isn't free of the terrible world of men and their wicked ways. And the wind she blows high, and the wind she blows low, with a wiggle me higgle, me higgle me ho, with a wiggle me higgle, me higgle me he. Music and sea grew loud as far as there, no fun. Until all oh, one sailors, she had busted the upper the sky as she feared more. There was part of our oh, silence, chicken. All the city to the accordion. Music cry us all around the sailors, sharing, talking with the famous sister. Not just stop with the cruises, but now scolded. All these trying to set in the middle of the ring. Look, it's little Harry. That was the captain, was the man of the fellow called Brandon, short snapper, who busked the out cover. All what we thought you was at first and ambulances. What do you mean? Only want to see the pussy cut dance. 
Yeah, he's the best that he can whatever he has on the share of resort as well. I'm afraid he's not here for you. Press your beast but step body first. You just sleep follow I mean per per face my alone. That's just it. Growled Brandon's short snapper. Pushing his uh, trusted face was practiced and was because he enjoyed it. He lost his head in the race, not like a long, greasy haired hurricane. Mm -hmm. Growled with padlock, stepping forward to protect Polly's trust, placing many silly in a bullet. Blah, 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 chanting the territory. Blood on the water, so to light. Brandon trust that a padlock circled. Look at this. Each hour slowly took us as a trap in the him began of men against bear disguised as first cat. But before anyone could land the first blow, Captain Brazil came striding in the in the ring, walking from his slumpers by all the rockers and they started signing niggas right there you know what's the man say a fitted you is doors i won't tolerate this sort of nonsense on my ship who's professor he was airy and said brandon charles dapper he started captain yeah the other student he was edwards and small e and i just bad enough with this said the captain in brazil grabbing palo by the ear only to have his cut off his hands and with a removal of the rings, got his guy scattered in front of his car, the bear shoes, the bear shoes, the king's nature's underwear, the rings are brought by the water shops for a man. No, can you see? This is a guy, it's a bear. He was just made his skin lucky for joy and whipping. Police fake mustache from the face. Aha! Cried Captain Brazil Shannon Flintley. You're not a boy at all, your girl thought you could fool me, did he? I hear in voice nine. But don't you remember, please, Polly as the cat advisor run up the sea. He was the one what who what taught us to do men's disguises in the first place. Oh no, would I tell you to think like that the captain saying be missing? So I'd run like ice scares inside. That would be insane. I would bet you'd be tickled to judge your lungs fly as we are not sure. No, Captain, you can't cry. Good artist, leave me with no marsh to bust me. She's as good as any boy. Have mercy, Captain, please. Hmm, said. Captain Brazil, shock his neck to us. Leave me a good, yeah, a good first. Yeah, a good first mate, and your name makes me laugh. Plus, you was risking me for me, eaten by a prawn. Plus, I should listen to you. Very well, you got here. I will not take over. But you have to punish men. We will get them. But you was still have to punish men. We will get them. Let me let it be known that as some of us seen a bear will be put on plank and set a rest on the ocean blue. Cup to ten. See and a bear puff on the plank and set a rest on the ocean blue. It was three minutes to sunrise. Polly and Padlock sat staring upon a wooden plank, no bigger than a mattress, as it blocked chastely upon the waves. <sighs> I get some milk. Absolutely, it needs a power. This power, I'm going to just stand here. I need some power.
Okay. Polly and Pella said sorry about it. Wouldn't play no bigger than my choices at small chest about it. How about our day on a natural sticker? Catch a busy and it's best to gaze it as some other man was singing it as any. Name you. We know Matt was crying. Brandon Charles Snapper was there over there making rude faces and tries to go playing on to Pilot said. Harry Edwards and Perfect Maria said Captain Brazil really. You thought you could make a fool of me, but excuse yourselves. Well, the fools, you fools, swimming in some nice and good rocks. And you cut the rope with sanders or play to this end. Actually, I can't be bothered to waste. I just do now. Sweet. One from Swat, it's Cassius, Cassius, it's actually wrong. No, shy boy, mm, said Pilot. Grace with board and Stewie out of the carry is far from the ship. A single watery hot fist. Soft water stung Polly's eyes and mingled with tears running down the palace. Polly's padlock's face. The two of them clung on for dear life as Blank began to toss. Turn upon her with waist, spinning easily in every direction. No, yes, boy, you can do this, your captain. Said, already being done. Gordy event was carried further and further away from you. Soon, our name took his ticket was a uh, print break on the horizon and was lost from being sorry. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. A fresh on the ocean wave without a bear for company. It's nothing to you. There's nothing to see. Just a big blue sea and a big blue sky. Especially as the sky, as I could see. Just a big blue sea, big blue sky, big blue nothing. And poor little party of pelicans made of it. All plumb to the user on plank, no bigger than the mattresses. Swoosh. Help, God, buddy. But so we was listening. Room was wild. Well, but who would answer? Not a sign on the scene of glass. I rest, I rest on a big flat. Blue, big flat, blue. Let me, I get them, said Pilot running. Spot over his rib cage. Ooh, boy. Throws and hunger, throws and hunger. Polly was trying to lose her mind. What was Pilot already taking or uh, has she all in imagined this? Sheesh. Hundreds of course she let your lepers play by the post. That's that we splash each other for fun. Look at me, said Pilo taking off his head and playing football with this. Ha he sush. A fish zoomed straight up out of the water and went soaring into the sky. It exploded in the sour. Of coffee and sea horses that all look like belly green and mister and the mackerel with the face of Mr. Ghost form by watching back of snakes on a waterproof TV set. Shaba, me, also fan, murder the mackerel. Who does a toss bean? A mackerel would be such a bother. Swoosh! The wolf was sunny upside down. How it tastes so sweet. Salt water, saw the sky tumbling round her. Pot lock kept turning into Captain Brazil's house and back again. Hey, no. Was Polly Remy? Was he awake? Was he asleep? Was he somewhere in between? She looked down and saw her hands had turned into bare paws. Wee boy, she was losing her mind. The big blue seas. Pictures drifted through Polly's and Paula was holding a toy balloon, holding funny red balloon on a funny string. La la la, can I have a ghost party? But Paula get gone. Where was he? He was climbing up the string. La la la. Climbing out of the train, this way up to the air like a fairy tree. Look up, Polly, look up. Up here, Polly called first robot. Look up. Watch what you have on Baba's mysterious boss about the ship sleepily. Look up in the sky. Oh, the sky, lovely. Polly, this way up there. Yes, you go. Grab all the whole rope, Polly, said the boss. 
so he looked around. There was the eyes alone. Blue sea, blue sky, a yellow rope, blue sky, hold on, a yellow rope. Police are followed the rope upwards in the and there it was not so balloon at all. Or it was flat red hot air balloon with various less discovery. Painted on the on the side, letters of green. Mr. Rebel, sir, crowed Polly in the city. What on earth are you doing? Come, Polly, yet shorter than Rebels. Paul already made it. He said, Chase the screen towards the bear, stay on his side in the basket. It's your turn, Clara. I don't think I can. And two weeks ago, I already see a chicken hold a rope and already slowly, so she was hauling herself up shorter than. Rob was hugging her on every step of the way. That's it, that's it, you're doing ever so well. Every muscle in Polly's body ate a gun nursingly as he climbed, and once he glanced down, she saw Fanny shocks laying at the dinner table, not the first one for to fall. But Polly was the type of girl to give her. Yes, she was sweet. I know. No. So was a, she put herself up up to the sky like a dinosaur so fighting his way back from extinction. Up, up she went. Uh, until eventually was at the top of the road and shorter thin rebels were serving her in a crowded basket. What a touch which it was, but she was safe. Oh, Mr. Rebels, sir, said Polly. I'm collecting against all of I guess, I guess, thank you. In thanks, Q and I said, Charlie, mm, mm, Rebels County, it's worse than we talk. Trust the truth, she just trusted, offering all your trade of raw fish and rice. It's the latest that I discovered in Owen Japan. But, but, how, however, do you then find us, Mr. Rebel, sir? says Polly, nibbling as a horrid delight, sir. Where is the strangest thing? said Jonathan Rebels as he bit in a vegetable summer size cedar span on a park bench in India. I was flying north in shorts on the latest night, but last night I had the most personal reading. There was a little boy laughing in a sea of cars. He said, Hello, Jonathan Rebels. I like your hot air balloon. Now find it's nice, it's very important. I have, have and even more important job for you too. So you must turn your balloon all the way around and find some friends my who are in trouble. Why for now? So this one I turn the balloon around and there you will see Jonathan Rebels. It's probably just a coincidence, you know. That's all it's only only but spotting you better. No lost services. She says suddenly you was it's such a finances. Last night you was a visitor in your seats by not another the spirits of rainbow, the spirits of rainbow chuckled. Sonnet and rebels clutching in the um, burrito. He discovered that mystical way. Never yet have been sorry, buddy, but I think you got a little bit crazy night from too long. I see. Ooh, so long with its trend. Ten of the story. So long, we have done really well. What's there? This was a really long ride, but no, no way, no way. Who's there? I have gone from chapter 1 all the way to chapter 11, man. Ooh. Chapter 2, only 22. I make halfway. But me and Fook. Still on an adventure. What are you doing? Adventure is still out there. <laughs> to the island. Oh, those days sailing, not to the seas, but to the bright blue skies and Jonathan Rebels balloon. 
and they were beautiful days, magical days, wonderful, mystical, zamzistical days, and the nights were pretty zamzistical too. Are they a bit darker? We already read for 15 minutes. That's cool. Now everybody, we are going to get that victory, and we have read quite very really far. So let's continue. How I lost it up here. Okay. Sepali has a flash and fur, furry to the laughing, hoping clouds. Hoping clouds. It's like green. It's even better than green chocolate, Jonathan. Rose, because we have got all those delicious snacks that are locked before I risk you. Fancy and our potato, donkey, yum yum, all the way from China. I'm just. Uh, not just that, thanks, said Polly, who didn't really like a potato, donkey, yum yums very much. They were better to potato, potato Eva. Eva had a bigger to look a little happier in this time. He was spent entirely with his ball up on the edge of the basket, gazing down the spotty sea as his bed passed below, or pulling funny faces to a moose. Our bushes and girls are world in dizzy, dizzy acts around the blue. Mommy and Tisa, why do you talk? I don't know why they're talking, man. Ooh, one picture now. New white finish. As you know, I've been entire places myself. You know. Larry just high up. That's me and I never give up. Look how low this is gonna be. We need teamwork. That's what in these arts around the balloon. Why do we believe we are seeing the real part like a last smart body? I never seen enjoying life like this, Mr. Rebel Sir. He's for our son to grow back and everything. But each evening as the sun was set in the sky blazed orange and gold red. Poppy could find the thoughts turned to lemon paper. The chance he knew called lemon paper. I wonder what Friday or there is up to right now. She was sigh wistfully. I haven't seen him for ages. Oh, I just miss our granny, her and her sad loving ways, and what about little and Alan Taylor? I wonder how she gets him on at stands for the actors. When we are gonna be back, and I make better, Mr. Rosers, as fully when I see prepared to be then next to part of the wall, gets a while and say it's smelling a bit like bear. If my calculations are correct, we will be there tomorrow morning, replied Jonathan Rivers, studying his man and shucking our kiwis wood he just picked up over in New Zealand. And that nice probably went to ski with a cottage smile on her face, dreaming that she was back home on Boston still with Jade and all pretending he was a horse or a spaceship. My next one, Jonathan looked for me. I'm afraid my calculation once more is that I look poly he said pointing to an orange bar on his mouth. I thought this was thinking about this turn out to be a bit of chicken chick as best iron eyes. Then where do you think we are the poly? Well, according to my new calculations, we have to base on countries far as a food sense, replied Jonathan Rivers. We have gone in the wrong direction for days. We somewhere over the South Pacific, which is not from anywhere. I think we just better land next island we we'll see a stock of on snacks. Spotty look out for islands and ladies that most is are small sitting in the middle of the ocean like a crunching in a very, 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 very big bone of fish soup. 
East was covered in large tropical green with golden white sandy beaches on the edges and it looked very inviting indeed. Land, said Bonnie, yes, land. Tristan is not just going to be scouted as there, said Tyler, nothing rebels as he steered across skillfully towards the island. Easy does it, easy does it, in order in concentration. Um, where is Tyler now, but this is the sweet, boring, and his smooth, chubby face. Bonnie, how is that open? Would you? We don't want to get tangled up the treetops, but watch the admiration as she, um, as Jonathan Rebels brought the closer to the dazzling sand. I'm no longer going to read more. Tired of goodbye.